I found the best dribble moves in NBA 2K25. These moves have given me a 96 win percent to start the game. And today, I'm going to be showing you every move I recommend for both players 6'4 to 6'9 and 5'9 to 6'3. I know a lot of y'all have most likely been struggling to dribble so far, so all I ask in return for putting y'all onto the sauce is subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video. Now, let's get this thing started. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, and we're about to head into the my core and show some in-game footage of every dribble move I've been using and that I found after labbing a bunch of stuff up. I've been having a blast on 2K25 so far. I've been going crazy. As you can see, look at I'm already uh, a GOAT tier on my build. They're not showing purple this year. It's red now. I'm a 95 overall. If you guys want the build, make sure to go check out the build video. If you guys want the jump shot, make sure to go check that out as well. It's on the channel. But yeah, right now I have a 94.4 win percent on 2K25. And I've just been going crazy. And a lot of it is because of these drill moves. So let's go ahead, jump into this my court, show some gameplay, and hook y'all up with each and every single move. We're going to explain each animation and what kind of moves each animation is going to allow you to do now first we're going to start with the escape move if you guys don't know what the escape move is it's basically this move right here this is the one i have on this is the best one in the game for six fours to six nines now a lot of these moves are going to be for six fours to six nines but i'm going to show a screenshot later in the video for the best dribble moves that uh small guards use as well but if you do like any of the moves in this video that i showed that you can't equip on smaller guards then go ahead and use those as well but yeah i'm going to be showing gameplay of all the like moves as well too so this is me using the escape in game and honestly i felt like every and right there you see we hit it heavily right there hey the jump shot is on the channel as well because y'all gonna see in these clips i'm going crazy with the jump shot as well but every time i felt like i did this kobe escape and yes it is the kobe bryant escape move i felt like i was open off it every time like you're not gonna get a wide open but you're gonna get it open and it's gonna be a greenable shot every single time and if you have a good jump shot on and you know what you're doing you're gonna be able to green it if feel, i feel like it creates a lot of space you can also run out of it to the opposite side so if you escape kobe to the left like right here you can run to the right out of it you can't really run to the same side unfortunately on it but I mean, it's still the best escape move in the game. You need an 88 ball handling, I think, to get this. Now, if you can't get Kobe Bryant escape move, go ahead and equip Kevin Durant. It is very, very similar, and you can get that with a very, very low ball handle. Now, the next move we're going to go over is the crossover. Now, I mean, this is basically the John Wall cross from 2K24. Look at this crossover, bro. This crossover is super good. You can do it with the right hand. You can do it with the left hand. It doesn't matter what side you drive to the basket on. You can do this crossover. And every time I play, people ask what this crossover is. And you're going to even see in the clips right here. Yes, by the way, this is Zach Levine crossover. You can like go, if you, especially if you know what you're doing when it comes to like angling the, to this with this crossover, this can get you to the basket super easy, get you around the defender. And if you have a good driving dunk, maybe a driving layup, or a good standing dunk you're going to get a bunch of free baskets with this move and yes it just look it literally does the same thing that the john wall crossover did in 2k24 and it's definitely one of the moves you're gonna want to equip and definitely gonna be the best crossover in 2k25 for sure now next is the behind the back now this behind the back gives you a couple different moves and in the gameplay clips i'm gonna show one of them because it's very very good but basically, if you're doing a standstill behind the back, like you would have done with a Jamal Murray last year, it's going to give you like this little hop move. It just kind of reminds me of like that 2K22 hop move. And you can kind of just spam it back and forth and you can shoot off this. But the best part about it is the way you run out of it gives you a nice boost compared to most moves in 2K25. Now that behind the back is Kobe Bryant, but you could also equip Paul George behind the back or Tyrese Halliburton behind the back, which both are very similar moves if you want to just shoot right off your behind the back. But the reason I have this Kobe Bryant behind the back on is not only because of that hot move, but that move right there. It's kind of like the Trey Young behind the back in 2K24. And this is going to get you to the basket a lot easier. It's also a hard animation to get steals off of. I mean, you're going to see me get to the basket a lot in these clips with this Trey Young behind the back. It's just going to give you a nice little speed boost to the rim so you can get to the basket faster and on some of these clips i mean the center might have gotten to me in time but 
not only that it gets you through the defender sometimes better you know what i'm saying because if you guys know anything about this behind the back of 2k24 you really couldn't stop it you could just go through players with it and i will definitely be keeping this behind the back on especially since i have a high driving dunk and i'm trying to get to that rack now the next move we're going over is the spin now there's a lot of different spins you can do in this game now a lot of them you just get with whatever spin moves you have equipped so like so like this little like half spin right here you're just gonna get with i'm pretty sure whatever spin you have on but if you're not getting that spin hey just equip the spin i have on uh you could also do like a spin where like you attack the basket well that, that that's the bad animation where if you drive to the basket you're gonna get this crazy like spin off of the fender and then you can get to the basket a lot easier and get a dunk or a layup but there's also some good spin animations i've been getting in game with this now yes you're gonna see me doing the half spins a lot in this gameplay but look at like some of these spins that i'm just getting a good boost off a lot of these moves might not look quick like this one but you're going to get really good boosts off them to get you going to the left to the right or to the basket and that's what a lot of the good moves are in 2k25 because if you guys know anything about dribbling in 2k25 a lot of the moves you're probably trying to do right now you can't run out of fast now this half spin these spins off of like jab steps and these spins just like when you're going backwards and you know back to the basket they give you really good boosts and i'm using kevin durant spin for this and the good thing about kevin durant it is a very cheap ball handle to unlock this spin move and look at i'm even getting crabs off these spins like i'm cooking up with this spin move it's a move i, I really use a lot because you can really create a lot of like momentum with this move and look at I, you can even do a spin back with this move yes you can spin back to the three-point line with the right animations equipped now there's a lot of moves you have to have equipped to do that and we're going to talk about that more later in the video now when it comes to hesitation i don't really use hezi hezis a lot but this is the hezi i have equipped i mean i don't i don't like i said i don't use this a lot but once again very cheap ball handle to get this hezi that i have on it's definitely the best one in the game if you do want to use a hezi and that is kevin durant hezzy so make sure to equip that next we have the step back now this there's two step backs i'm going to give y'all that are really good and the one that i have in my, my court right here that i have equipped is the one i think is better and the thing about step backs is you're going to get two different animations with whatever step back you have equipped you're going to get a standing step back animation like this right here and then when you move you're going to get another step uh, step back animation like that so it's like the little stutter step right there is the step back that i have equipped now the first step back that we're going to show gameplay of is not the one i had in the my core there but it is in my opinion the second best step back in the game but some people might prefer it over the step back that i think is a little better and this run right here is the devin booker step back now i was creating a lot of space to get a lot of threes off with this step back and to be honest day one of the game this is how i was scoring a lot of my three pointers with through this step back you know fake drive to the basket boom pull back and get a little easy three that you can also run out of this move you can get ankle breakers off this move too so that's another thing that's good about the devin booker step back now, I mean, look at this right here. Even when you don't create space, if you got that jump shot on, you know what I'm saying? Go cop the jump shot. It's on the channel. But yeah, you can also run out of this move from uh, the, or uh, if you run to the opposite direction and get some good speed boost off that to the drive to the basket or go left to right. But yeah, this move is just really good if you want to create space, really good if you want another step back to run out of, and also really good if you just want to, you know, get up some threes, especially if you isolate, like, it's a really good step back to have on. Both of these step backs I'm showing, like, really do everything well. Like, look, I'm even getting blow by animations off this step back. I'm getting ankle breakers off this step back. I'm getting everything. But the next step back I'm going to show right here is the Zach Levine step back. Now, this step back basically does everything that devin booker step back does but you can get this like little stutter step animation on the moving step back and in my opinion that is the big reason why it's so much better i also think the standing step back is a little more cleaner and is a little faster and creates more space and you could shoot off of it a little quicker but yeah this stutter step moving step back you can like use it almost as a quick stop sometimes if you have trouble like stopping on a dime like when you're moving left or right you can just flick down do that step back and then just shoot off it as well even if you don't want to use this like to run out of but you can run out of it you can you could do a lot with this this step back right here to be honest and the standing step back too dude i don't know what's with this standing step back but i was greening everything off it every time i had low energy like on these shots it didn't matter 
I was just greening off this standing step back. I don't know if just the momentum or the, um, the, the speed of this standing step back just makes me shoot better or something, but it is a clean step back to use. And not only that, this step, the Zach Levine step back is also better than the Devin Booker step back because you need this stutter step moving step back to do a spin back to the three point line. So if you do spin backs to the three point line with your left stick, and then you finish the animation with this Zach Levine stutter step, you can shoot right off of it. And I'm already knowing Steezo is definitely gonna be using this Zach Levine step back for that reason alone. Now, the next thing we're gonna be going over is triple threat style. You guys are probably like, Double H, what are you talking about? This doesn't matter. It actually definitely does. As I learned this a lot in 2K24 that these triple threat styles definitely matter i mean I'm, i mean obviously the kobe jab step was crazy but this triple threat style is the best one in 2k25 considering they moved kobe bryant because it was too op but i have zach levine triple threat on it and this is the jab step you are going to get with it if you go to the opposite side if you go to the same side as that but you want to use this a lot on the opposite side because it's just a good way to just like start the possession like if you have if you're playing a lockdown that's reaching a lot or if you're trying to protect the ball and not get plucked off a triple threat this is the best triple threat to use okay it's just a good way to start possessions especially if you have low energy or if you're trying to do a little moving spin off this triple threat like right there then yes this is the best one in the game now triple threats if you guys didn't know are only like for jab steps and yeah this is the best one in the game i feel like it's good for like i said spinning off of it it's good just to you know you slow down possessions it's good to protect the ball the biggest reason i use this triple threat style is it because it protects the ball well and that's what you need in a triple threat style with these jab steps now the next move we're going to talk about is the hop jumper that i have on now this hop jumper can do like a million different moves i'm not gonna lie now there is one move that i don't really have a lot of gameplay clips of where like if you hop jumper to the right and run out of it you can get like this clean speed boost and i'm pretty sure almost i think any ball handle like that right there but like you have to like diagonally angle your left stick down it's like weird bro but yeah i haven't really got this to work in game a lot just because i really haven't been trying it but if you mess around with it you can get that animation every single time i'm honestly gonna lab this up and start doing this a lot more so you're probably gonna see me do this move a lot more but yeah you can get that animation right there off this hop jumper if you run out of it correctly and you can do it out of the left side or the right side now this hop jumper i mean depending on where you flick your stick i mean you can get a lot of animations out of it you can like hop over here you can hop over here you can literally just spam this now these hop jumpers kind of remind me of like 2k16 hop jumpers i mean you can kind of just spam them from side to side or you can kind of like pull back on them as well but the main point is, is you can run out of these moves super fast. But not only that, as you're going to see in my gameplay, you can get like a crazy jump off this hop jumper. And yes, I'm using hop jumper normal too. And this, this goes crazy, bro. Like you're going to create a lot of space off these hop back jumpers. And there's a lot of freedom and a lot of moves to do with this hop jumper. And honestly, I think hop jumpers for like ISO builds are probably the most important signature animation just because of how many things it allows you to do depending on what hop jumper you have on and guys this might be the most useful signature animation in the game like i said you can do so much with it like i'm only showing clips right here of just like a couple different moves i'm doing with it there's probably like 12 different things you can do 12 different animations you can get out of with this hop jumper animation and you can get good speed boost out of every single one of them this is by far the best hop jumper in the game and it is a must equip to your animations now let's talk about dribble style now i've tested a lot of dribble styles in 2k25 and honestly there is three dribble styles that i prefer the most now i'm gonna give out five just in case you don't reach the ball handle requirements for some of these now the best one is either going to be zion williamson or jalen green depending on what you like more but basically these dribble styles are just going to affect you know, like your the speed boost you get out of moves i like jalen green just because you can do those spin backs to the three-point line with your left stick a little better but zion, zion williamson is going to give you a huge boost left to right just like jalen green and the third one i would recommend dejounte murray and if for whatever reason you don't get any of the three of those i mean i also was using lebron and pro those aren't terrible but jalen green is the one that i am currently using 
But yeah, Zion Williamson is definitely the second best. I would say DeJounte is a close second behind him. And then, yeah, you could also test out Pro and LeBron James as well. Now, I don't really use like the combo moves or the aggressive breakdown or the regular breakdown or the signature size up moves too much. But these are the ones I have equipped. I have James Harden six size up. I have Kevin Durant regular breakdown combo. I have LaMelo Ball aggressive breakdown combo. And I have James Harden combo moves. I don't really use any of those moves though really in my bag yet. Maybe I'll start using them in the future. But another thing we need to talk about is the go-to shot. Now there's two go-to shots I'm gonna recommend. The first one that I have on is Devin Vassell. And this is one of the animations you're gonna get. That's the animation that like you don't really want. You wanna get the good animation. You wanna get the good animation, which is this one where you can do like a little step back and then shoot a three. Now I have pulled this off in game before, but the good thing about this go-to shot is you can kind of just run out of it at any point or shot cancel it, which is a good thing. But yeah, I don't really use this too often. I should probably use it more often. Now I don't get this other go-to shot I'm gonna recommend, but I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. And that is the Jimmy Butler go-to shot. So if you somehow unlock this, make sure to equip that as well. And for any short guards that didn't get some of the animations that I recommend in this video, here is a screenshot of some playmaking moves that some good short guards have been using, and you can test these out as well. Now, if this video helped you out at all, make sure to drop a like because I ain't gonna lie, I am moving the a lot, a lot better than a lot of these players in 2k25 right now and it's because of these moves right here and i'm putting y'all on i'm not gatekeeping i'm putting y'all onto the sauce make sure you guys go check out the build make sure you guys go check out the, the jump shot subscribe to the channel for me helping y'all out today it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace